Hello, welcome to Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, for Christmas month, we're reviewing the, How the Grinch Stole Christmas live action, which is based off of Dr. Seuss children's book. And this movie is directed by Ron Howard. I totally forgot Ron Howard directed this. And it stars Jim Carrey as the Grinch, Jeffrey Tambor as Mayor Augustus Mayhew, yeah, Mayhew. Uh, Christine Bronski as Martha the May Hoover. Taylor Monson as Cindy Lou Who. Josh Ryan Evans as eight year old Grinch, who was like the midget actor from Passions. And I think he was in a movie with Jim Carrey. I forget what it's called. He died two years after this movie. <laughs> R.I.P. He plays eight-year-old Grinch. Molly Shannon as Betty Who, uh, Lou Who. Bill Irvin as Lulu Who. Kelly as Max the Dog. And um, Ron, uh, Clint Howard, Ron Howard's brother, as Hubris. Yeah. So that's pretty much like all the portents actors in, in this film. Right. So yeah, this is a live action movie. Uh, it's about basically in this like, I guess fantasy world where you have these creatures that look humanoid. That look human except for their faces where they, where I don't know how you would describe them. They have like these like weird like dog, I, I, I don't know they have, like, animal faces, right? Like, I don't know, like, chipmunks or whatever. Though, like, some of the people, uh, totally look like normal humans, like Cindy and, the um, the one chick, uh, what's her name? The doctor, sorry, um, Grinch's lo li uh, love interest in the movie, Christine Baranski, who I thought was a bit too old to <laughs> for the... For the role, because she's like 69 now, so like t minus, yeah, she would have been like almost 50 when this movie came out. But then I guess like Grinch is supposed to be the same age as Jeffrey T uh, Jeffrey Tambor and like and uh, Christine Baranski's character, right? Yeah, so you have this fantasy village, right, with these people called the the Who, who are. Uh, who kind of have, the, they're kind of like, you know, they have like these weird hairstyles and have like wacky uh, clothes and like vehicles and stuff that like, all the car, all the cars look like bumper cars, <laughs> right? And uh, the Grinch is this character who is, it's kind of, he's, ba it's basically kind of like a fantasy version of... Of, uh, of a Christmas Carol where you have this character called the Grinch who is part who used to live in Whoville but became but uh, became an outcast at like eight years old when like he, when he uh, uh, when he got bullied in school and it went on a tamp a tamper tantrum like you know talking like you know uh, uh, like, you know, talking trash about Christmas, right? And ever since then, he, he's he been, like, you know, uh, basically trolling the residents of Whoville every year around Christmas, right? And the, the Grinch is obviously this character. He's, like, um, I don't know what. He's supposed to be, like, kind of like a, a green dog man, I guess. I don't know how, to, how else you just would describe the Grinch, right? Um, yeah, and he has this... Pe the only friend he has in this world is this uh, pet dog, Max, who obviously uh, disagrees with his master on, like, Christmas. There's, like, a scene where, like, uh, the Grinch leaves, uh, goes out, and he finds his dog uh, jumping... Jumping on his hind, land, hind legs, dancing to this like Christmas song <laughs> called like uh, this. The lyrics were like, um, 
Christmas has gone to the dogs or whatever, which it sounds like it's like a uh, song trashing Christmas, but from the dog's perspective, it's like, it's like you know, he, he, he thinks it's a song about uh, a, a dog Christmas or something. <laughs> I don't know. So then the major story of this film is you have this little girl named Cindy who's kind of on the dumps um, th this Christmas, right? And she finds out about the this character named the Grinch, right? And, you know, f thinks that if she can, like, you know, help the Grinch, you know, appreciate Christmas, then, sh then she'll have, like, a better Christmas herself, right? And, like, you know, she has an encounter with the Grinch... Where like you know she um he he's in the mail room, her her dad w works at the mail office. He was screwing around with the packages right, and she catches him in the act, and he puts her in a ma like uh, this mail sorter machine that almost kills her. But he like, because the, the the dog sees this and is like he, um bites him on the ass. Uh, to make him, like, save Cindy. He saves Cindy, and, like, you know, um, Cindy thinks that, oh, sh there is some good in him after all. So she, she, so, uh, every year at this town, they vote for somebody to be the cheermeister at, like, their Christmas parade or whatever, right? And she, usually it goes to the mayor every year, right? And she nominates the Grinch, and she's able to convince people to, like, you know, um, vote for the Grinch, which the Grinch show, uh, she's able to convince the Grinch to show up, right, because, like, because he, he wants to rub it in the nose that he got the, uh, you know, got to be the cheermeister that year, that year, and the mayor did, because they're all, they're old, like, high school, like, um, they're old, like, high school, like, rivals, right, because they both had a thing for the same girl, which is uh, uh, Martha May Hoover, right? Who who's showing a lot of who shows a lot of cleavage throughout the film, right? Which is kind of inappropriate for a, a, a kids film, right? Uh, I say that while I have like Jessica in her magic bikini, the magic bikini. Has good stats, okay? <laughs> it's like the best piece of equipment I have for her right now. <laughs> Which I'm almost... I think I'll be able to beat this game sometime this week, guys. So look forward to that review. Alright, I'm just here because uh, uh, I, there was a piece of equipment that I missed at, at a nearby dungeon. I'm going to go in... Uh, and, to get it right, I I, I actually thought I, I I got close to the end game, but like I was a bit too low level for the area, so uh, I I I I loaded up an earlier save because I thought I missed out on some equipment, right? And it turns out I didn't, but whatever, right? I'll just fight the the boss again. I don't care. Yeah, so like yeah, he goes there. Um, they make him do all this weird, like, um, weird, like, s stuff, like, eating, uh, Christmas puddings, like, f bunch of food, and, like, he, he likes to, because the Grinch is weird, he likes to eat, like, you know, uh, in, like, you know, inorganic material, like, pl like, plates, right? <laughs> and there's, like, adult humor in the movie as well, like, the, the, like, it's implied that, uh, how the Who's reproduced is that basically a baby floats down from the sky on a basket, right? Kind of like the, uh, um, that old, like, you know, uh, for, uh, folk tale about, like, babies come by snorkel, stork, what, what are they called? Stork, storks? Delivering babies, right? It's kind of like that. Where the Grinch gets to deliver to these two old ladies. <laughs> and, like, there's, like, one of the babies uh, goes to this one guy's house. And he's like, honey, our baby's here. Why does it look like your boss? <laughs> so it's like the dude got cucked. 
<laughs> apparently, apparently. Yeah, there's like adult humor like that in the movie, right? Which I thought that was fine. Um, Jim Carrey's performance as the Grinch, I thought was a little cringe. Also, like a lot, lot of rhyming in the movie, just like in the the book. Also, I forgot to mention Anthony Hopkins narrates the whole movie in rhyme, right? And there's like breaking the fourth uh, wall jokes where like where like um, the Grinch will like you know uh, react to something like the narrator says, right? What, uh, and like the final act of the movie is basically the gr the Grinch uh, gets embarrassed at the uh, at the Christmas parade right uh, Christmas festival thing where he's the cheermeister uh, decides to uh, decides to get revenge on the town of Whoville by dressing up as Santa Claus. And stealing everybody's gifts, and and at Cindy's house, who Cindy's like the only person that was nice to him, he steals her food, all of her food, her Christmas, the Christmas tree, all the decorations, and like you know, um, all the decorations. She, 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 he steals like everything. And it's like I don't know if like. Like did did he just like give her the worst of it, or he did he have like did he rob everybody of everything, man at like all their houses? That made like no sense. <laughs> so like what happens like you know Cindy, uh, Cindy dad gives like you know um, like well the mayor blames Cindy for like you know uh, inviting the Grinch the Grinch to like the Christmas fair thing and like. It's her fault that the Grinch, you know, stole their presents and whatnot. So despite the fact that everybody knows where the Grinch lives, they don't decide to march on his house and steal, get, so not, not steal, uh, get the, their shit back, right? What happens is, like, you know, the, the dad, uh, the dad, like, has this, like, you know, um, speech on the true meaning of Christmas, right? Which, you know, earlier in the movie, the Grinch... Um, the Grinch made, like, you know, um, like, a speech about basically, like, saying how the, how, like, Christmas is basically, like, you know, commercials bullshit, right? Um, yeah, like, you know, um, the dad makes, like, a speech on the true meaning of Christmas. This makes the Grinch, uh, feel bad for what he's done, and he, him, the dog, and, like, Cindy... Uh, return the gifts, and you have a happy ever after, right? So, I don't know. I thought the movie... I didn't enjoy the, the songs uh, at all. I did think the props and the special effects... Um, sorry, the practical effects, uh, this, uh, the makeup, everything, uh, looked cool. Like, I mean, not look cool, but, like, you know, looks, you know... It was interesting, man. Like, the special effects and everything. Right? Like, the the details for all the, like, you know, the, the designs and everything. I thought that looked good. Right? The Grinch costume looked good. That, he, you know, he's probably spent, like, ten hours a day putting that shit on. <laughs> or, like, not ten hours, but, like, you know, some, some shit close to that. Right? So, I, I thought that was cool. And, uh, yeah, I thought the movie was decent, but I didn't enjoy the movie. I didn't really think it was that funny or that. And it was decently entertaining. The best the best thing about the movie, in my opinion, was the dog. But that, that could just be me. I, I don't know. I really enjoyed do uh, Max uh, the dog. Which, one problem I have with this movie is this movie is, is a bit long. I, I didn't think there was a need for it to be you know, longer than, like, you know, 90 minutes or whatever. This movie is, like, an hour and, like, 40-something minutes, which you can watch it on Netflix if you have Netflix. I don't know. I enjoy the movie. I'm only giving it, like, you know. Uh, I'll give it a 6 just for, like, the practical effects and everything. But, like, yeah, I, I didn't really enjoy the movie, right? 
Yeah. So the next movie we're going to review is on. You know what? We're gonna. We haven't reviewed any anime this year, and we, we reviewed a, f a few animes for Christmas month last year. So for this year, we're gonna review um, Naruto the movie one. Clash in the Land of Snow, which was the first Naruto film, right? And it's not really Christmassy, but, you know, it has, like, you know... Uh, it, it takes place in this in the Land of Snow, right? So, the, like, it, it's kind of winter-themed, right? So look forward to that. And we'll be playing, you know, a Naruto game while we're, while we're reviewing that movie. Uh, either the Naruto... One of my Naruto, like, you know, PS2 games. Probably probably the fine game. That would be easier. So, that yeah, that's it for this.